Charging Classic works really well inside of Salesforce communities. I want to take a quick look today and show you some ideas about how you might be able to set this up for your Salesforce community. Keep in mind, this isn't a product. This is really just an idea about how you could do this uh, if you were interested. So today we're impersonating Elvis. We're going to go in and log in as a community user uh, for Elvis. And here's a very basic community we've set up. I'm going to go into the My Account area. And inside of my account, we can see that there's several bills. We can see that there's been three bills that have been paid. Uh, there's a relatively fresh bill that was just came out today. And there's a bill from last month. If I scroll down the page, I can see uh, what meters are involved. So we're actually doing this as a, a public utility uh, in this particular instance. And I can also see what the different meter readings are down below. And this is all based off custom objects that have been put inside of Salesforce, including these bills. I'm gonna go ahead and select two bills. I'm gonna click pay these bills. And when it comes up, I'll see this uh, nice lightning based pay bill page. Uh, we're happy to give you this code if you like it. It's, it's quite basic to be frank. Uh, but if you go in, I could select a, an existing payment. So I could select this one that's a visa ending in 1111, but I wanna show a couple other things. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a new payment source today. Uh, in this example, uh, we really are just doing payment uh, via credit card or a debit card or a prepaid card, any of those things would work. Um, this could easily be integrated with uh, bank uh, accounts. So uh, here in the States, of course, ACH or direct debit other places in the world. And I'm going to set uh, an expiration date. A couple of things I want to point out real quick. Uh, you'll notice everything's highlighted in green. If I had actually fat fingered that number, it would turn out in red for me, letting me know I had an issue. Uh, I can see that I got my CVV also completed. And then the system's letting me know it's time to go to next and review the payment. Here I can see the two payments uh, that I'm, or the two bills I'm attempting to make payments on right now. Uh, I can also see my total of $154.44. I can go ahead and confirm payment. And here we go, a nice big green check mark letting me know that everything's been approved. Uh, the date, time, other piece I would expect. I can just go ahead and close this out. One other thing that we integrated into this particular proof of concept demo is you can see that the payment sources that I just used as well as the other one that was on file are both here and able to be used uh, later. And so Elvis in this case, if you wanted to delete one of these certainly could do that. And of course, if I were to log out and go back into Salesforce, I would see all the data in there just like you would expect. Thanks for taking time to review this proof of concept demo for Salesforce communities integrated with Chargent. We hope that this inspires you and help you figure out new ways to use Chargent uh, in your Salesforce environment. Thanks and have a great day.